how y'all doing in this video we went to purview to speak on a panel we gave so many gems we talked about banking funding credit how we scaled our brand with 12 shirts and 120 dollars and turned it into a million dollar empire make sure you like subscribe to the channel run us up let's get straight into it we really started this brand with nothing you know yep. 12 shirts and 120 dollars so i yep. just i wanted to come here today just to just share this and, and say just, thank uh, you one. Say thank y'all and just show you and tell you how you could do it also. <laughs> and y'all didn't tell me Houston traffic was crazy. <laughs> All right, all right. So again, I'm Sian Murray, the president of the Ada Beta chapter, and so I'll be serving as you all's uh, mistress of ceremony for this evening. So just to kind of get started, um, I know they read off your bios, but if each of you could individually introduce yourselves and give something brief, something special about you all that they may not have gotten from those bios. Well, I'll go first. Um, so World Envision, we provide original designs and branded fashion apparel to urban youth who feel stagnant and trapped by what their environment tells them, what they can and cannot do. And like like in the bio, we started off by selling candy. Um, we was the kids that would go to Costco's and Sam's Club and get the boxes of candy and resell it to our classmates. And then we figured out that we could get on eBay and basically the little kiosk that you see selling iPhone accessories, that was us outside of our, selling out, out of our bags. And I mean, we would make like $100 a day selling that at our school. And then at the end of the week, we would always just reinvest the money into, you know, getting more accessories. So we noticed that we started to spend all of our money on clothes, literally, um, at the time, we used to wear Hollister and Aeropasta, and then I ended up going to a private school where they started to wear, you know, 10 Deep, Diamond Supply, Gucci, and Louis Vuitton, and we wanted to wear those things whether they was fake or not, so we had to get it, and um, we realized that fashion became a big thing. Uh, fashion was a way, we always had the saying, look good, play good, and yeah, we was trying to get girls, we started to go to football games, basketball games, and what you wore was a representation of you. Even, we realized that, you know, a lot of kids, they would go home and, you know, they would be in a lot of tough situations. But when they got from the house and went to these basketball games and just got out in the world, their clothes allowed them to, like, get to get out of the environment that, was, that they was in. Like, so looking good and looking nice, you kind of didn't even think about what life was like when you went back home. And so we decided to tap into the clothing brand. And so we started creating shirts on Uber Prints and Custom Ink. We started by just getting 12 shirts and starting with $120. And then we continued to double that. So from 12 shirts to 24 shirts to 50 to 100. Um, within the last three years, we've been able, like she said, to have over, uh, start from three team members. At one time, during Black Friday time, we had over 50 team members. Um, we started inside of a 100 square foot box, that we call it, to now running our operation out of 20, a 20,000 square foot warehouse. Um, and literally my senior year in college, we did a, a quarter million, and now we did over 5.6 million. Within the last three years, we've been able to do $10 million. And um, just being able to like put out our message and our brand. We have a YouTube, we have our Activate Your Vision podcast that we share a lot of information and knowledge. And honestly, just having those conversations that we that we wasn't able to have. Like growing up, I was afraid to even ask my mama how much money she make. Like money was something that we feared. So like, uh, I think to utilize the money that you're getting and start learning about investing. Because at the end of the day, investing is gonna truly build generational wealth. Um, at the end of the day, it's only, going, it's only three types of income. It's going to be earned income, portfolio income, and passive income. And earned income is going to be the money that you make with your time. So like when you're going to work and you work in your nine to five, that's the, the only you're going to make that money in when you put your time in. So when we're running our businesses, that's going to be portfolio income. Yes, we're working on our business, but at the end of the day, we still own the business so that the money that's being generated is still part of our portfolio. The same as with real estate, even though real estate may be part of a passive because that's going that's going to come every every first first to the fifth mm -hmm. you're going to receive that check so the only way to build generational wealth is to 
transition your earned income into passive and portfolio income. And I think that that's very important. And the, there's a lot of women in here. I think that the women are very underrepresented in those departments and uh, really taking the time to learn those skills. Because like I said, like for me, I was afraid to ask my mom about money. It's something that we're not taught about. It's something that our people don't do. But like we need to definitely start to learn about business. We definitely need to start to learn about stocks, crypto, real estate because what we do with the money that we make is going to be what's the most important. So you're going to be able to invest as you continue to develop your mind and grow and read and learn and put yourself in a different environment. Uh, we talk about it all the time with my group, like you're only going to reach a certain capacity. So like we see a lot of NFL players and like I living proof i didn't see people with millions of dollars have no money zero dollars today like made a million dollars and have zero dollars today and it was all because of their capacity so if your mind and your structure isn't able to handle that money you're always going to come back to that level and sometimes you're not able to get that money because you haven't reached the capacity to handle it so uh as you can it's like what you do with a thousand dollars, you're not gonna be able to do with ten thousand. What you do with ten thousand, you're not gonna be able to do with a hundred thousand. So you have to continue to learn how to nurture that money. The money, it, it has is is almost like an intangible feeling. So it knows if you can mature it and grow it. We uh we talk about shade. So I use a uh, money a money tree. Everybody hear about a money tree. So every time you pick from the money tree, and if they don't have nothing else, you're gonna be hot. When the sun come out, right? So you want to continue to, you know, water your money tree, put, you know, nourish your money tree, so that way, when it, when the sun does come out, you have a place to sit under that shady. That's good. Mm -hmm. Much done.